Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook. And this is the Radio Vision Network, and I am really excited right now because I have two lovely young ladies to my left and to my right. To my left is Natalie Simmons. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, Mark. How are you today? Good, really good. Well, we're glad to have Natalie back. She's going to be co-hosting this segment with me, and uh, we're really excited. Natalie is a, a familiar face. You should recognize her. She has been on the network and the show before. That's so we're back. really glad to have her I back. Glad to be back. So, and then the lady of the hour, her name is Donna Brocious. And she is the owner of the Boardroom Barbershop in Medford, New Jersey. Good morning, Donna, and welcome to Morning Coffee. Good morning. So, the Boardroom Barbershop, huh? Yes. So this place is awesome. It totally is. And this was like a lifelong dream that kind of, it kept like getting pushed to the side and then like this other thing would happen and then life was there and then children arrived children. and then like all this stuff started happening. I mean, and really let's break it down. You're a Philly girl that has just been a, a hard worker and an entrepreneur her whole life. And finally the opportunity came last year to open the boardroom barbershop. You jumped on it and man, you have not looked back since. I have not. I opened up the doors and I said, here I am, because I was ready. Yeah. I was ready. I could tell that because, you know, you really, I, just in looking at a little bit in your biography, just, just kind of like where you were to where you are now, it's kind of an amazing story and you should be really proud of it and be willing to kind of tell, yeah. the, tell the world. I really am. I'm, yeah. As a um, stay-at-home mother of three sons, I was home raising my children and doing my modeling and some other work until my children went off to college. And when my twins went off to college, I said, this is time for me. Yeah. And all three of my sons were my biggest supporters. So that's um, great. I mean, it was need, time. Yeah, and, and I it found helps. A place. And the family helps mm -hmm. and, and, and everybody pulls together to make it work. And it's so inspiring as a yeah. single mom, what you've done to be able to do that, devote your, you know, to your children all those years. I did, out. and it was my pleasure. And yeah. I said that to all the young children that come into our shop and the young, the young parents, I say, you know, cherish these moments. Right. I'm used to these moments when the kids are running around and we're trying to cut their hair and right. they're having fun. I want it to be a relaxed atmosphere. But I say treasure the moments because they do go quickly. Yeah. Right. So this a, is like the second phase know. of my life now. Now yeah. that I know the boys are on their way and they're all achieving their goals, it's nice to see them look at me and be proud of me for what exactly. I've done for them and what they do for me. So it really is a wonderful family story. Yeah, it's great. So tell me a little bit about kind of the evolution because let, let's just give everybody a little bit of your background. You were a very high level, a very successful uh, print runway fashion model for many, many years. I was. And that's kind of like, you know, you, you have to achieve a certain level in, in that profession to be able to raise a family and kind of still have the time to be able to pull off something like that. It's pretty... You know, I, I like to use the word insurmountable task because that's what it seems like. It's like, it how on, on earth am I going to be able to it's do a this? It's juggling, right? Yeah. As, a As a mother. Mom. Because you're always a mother first. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, this, today, I'm a mother first. Uh, but I'm also a businesswoman and a barber now. But the modeling was a lot of fun. But it did open so many doors. Uh, right. Even my relationship with Natalie. Exactly. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, and it goes hand in hand. I went to a, um, a show this year for um, barbers and cosmetologists, and I saw a lot of booths, and I saw some people advertising their goods through Runway. And I thought, this is my opportunity to put it all together. And if you look on my Facebook page, my website, it's about male, male grooming, uh, making you handsome from your shoes all the way to your hair. Uh, to skin products, so it's the whole package. So all my life, I've had the opportunity to be in right. So it's bringing fashion. all the fashion know-how mm -hmm. and beauty and skincare products and all of that mm -hmm. all together for you. Yes. Yeah. Now, as she Which said, you can see that when you go to her shop too. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. as she, as she was saying that, Natalie, she was completely sizing me up. <laughs> and she was trying to determine, like, am I going to offend this guy or what? So what do I have going on? You have, perfect. The first thing I look at with any man when they come into the chair, after I look at their hair and I introduce myself and I get to, and I, I when someone walks into my shop, it's like they're walking into my home. I greet them. I greet them even if they're going into another barbering chair, if they're going into one of my chairs of my other barbers. Right. And, but then I look at their shoes. Okay. And the shoes and their socks. 
That tells me so much of the character of, of a man. And as a mother of three sons, it's the first thing I've always taught them uh, is to make sure their shoes and socks are always the right doing the right. And socks tell a lot about someone's that, personality. That they're, that they're Besides doing your beautiful right bow tie. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have a beautiful bow tie that matches she your socks. I noticed that right away. Mm -hmm. I love it. All you, color coordinated yes. there, Mark. Shoes match the belt, right? right? Mm -hmm. The accent is the accent. And Aqua the is, they always say, if you want good vibes, a good vibe, always for the day, oh, always have geez. a little aqua on. Yes. Honest to goodness, aqua color okay. is very soothing. So whether you wear it an earring as a woman or right. A, um, well, I listen. Scarf. Listen, I'm a, I'm a little goofy, <laughs> Dottie. You're going to understand that, but I did that. I did that for a reason because you have that fashion eye, the sense, the feel, all of those things, right? Mm -hmm. I kind of set it up in a goofy way, but it was important right. to be able to do that because you're identifying and evaluating your clients right. from the second they walk into the into the door, and you're kind of You've already mentally prepared how you think they're going to look best. What's going to put their best look forward? And that is mm -hmm. what Absolutely. your that is what your expertise is. And I know it took me a little while to get there, but <laughs> I, that's really what I wanted to make sure that that point was made. Absolutely. It's the first thing I do. And I will not push anything on anyone, any advice. But if they ask, they're going to get it. And it's always to help them be the best they can be. Right. I always say to a man, or young boy, I love the young audience of the teens that are just finding their way. Just, I want them to tell me their story, and then I'll take them to the next phase of where they want to go. But I want a man to get up in the morning, and when he goes to get ready to go to work, I don't want him to have to be juggling a lot of things or be frustrated. So I make their job as easy as I can. I put them in a position where they have the right products if they want a product. Right. And they have the easiest cut, but then they can walk out and whether they ask what color socks they should wear or they're going to an affair with yeah, color do you tie. That a lot? Like, so, um, like their individual style, they'll actually, based on their haircut and their fashion sense, you then help them absolutely every day to make, make their style even easier. To She's like a full achieve. service fashion consultant. Really right. Exactly. right, that's awesome. Yeah. Down to personal right. grooming for mm -hmm. preteens that are just starting to shave. And I have mothers come in, and they're their first child. And I'll help them, talk to them gently about shaving and grooming right. for the teenagers that are just going into high school. That is that, that is like the coolest, most awesome thing that, that yeah. I, did yeah. you guys, I hope everybody caught mm -hmm. that, right? Yes. So we've got a lot of single mothers that are raising families, right? Mm -hmm. You did it, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is this is like the thing. Because a lot of moms, they don't know where to go or, or how to get the help. They're right. watching YouTube videos. And they're cutting their own faces. Right. And they're cutting their kids' faces. No, right. go to the right. boardroom barbershop. Right. Donna is going to be able to help you with that right. in a really comfortable setting where you're not going to feel awkward or, or uncomfortable about it. Right. It's because you're talking to somebody that can relate to that and how and how important it is. That yes. is so cool. Yeah. I think that is the most important thing, is to uh, be able to be comfortable with your clients and let them be comfortable with you. Right. That is the most, most important thing, that you are approachable, that they can ask you any question, whether it's the mother bringing in the child, right. or, or a young son, or um, it's, a, it's a husband that says, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I want, I want to change it up for my wife. Or, right. and then or you a have partner. the female perspective, which is so rare. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, yeah. it's a right. rare thing to have a barber, a woman barber, I would say, right? It, it is. is. It's, it's nice. very rare. And yeah. I, so, in, at the boardroom, and I was just discussing this with Natalie, I stay behind the scenes right now okay. uh, with all my social media a little bit. I don't let everybody kind of know that I was in modeling. And I'm kind of the, I'm, I'm, I'm whited out a little bit because I don't want anyone to see me just yet because I am a female barber. It's like the next phase of me. I wanted to open up the boardroom as a concept right. of a boardroom I get barbershop. You. I, you're, you're I didn't building. want me to be the, I wanted the boardroom to come right. out and shine. Donna is the, behind the boardroom, who's pushing the boardroom forward. Mm -hmm. right. And it'll be the boardroom and the elements of the boardroom, barbers and the included product, service, right. runway shows, cocktail parties, that'll all, I'll be behind the boardroom pushing that.
This is awesome. I'm going to take the boardroom limelight. <laughs> no, this is, this, this is awesome, and we are flying here on Morning Coffee. i got to take a quick break. Bye. Donna, we'll be right back. All right, Natalie, cool? Yep. We'll take a quick break. I'll be but here. But we will be right back here on Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network. Stick around. Saving your business money is as easy as one, two, three. Tanker Consulting Services, a payment solutions expert, will show you how with a free, detailed, written analysis illustrating your cost savings. We usually uncover savings between 10 and 25 percent and sometimes more. We can help your business succeed by providing reliable and secure merchant payment solutions such as merchant services programs, point of sale systems, and ATM machines. TCS, one of the leaders in regional credit card processing consulting, offers electronic payments to merchants locally and nationwide through our preferred vendor programs. We work to keep business costs down with a comprehensive suite of quality products, services, and customized credit card processing programs exclusively tailored for your company. TCS is convenient, reliable, and innovative with customer service available 24-7, 365 days a year. Our in-depth industry knowledge, partnership strategy, and innovative processing solutions allow for a specialized approach to providing merchant bank processing with 100% full-fee disclosure. TCS is one-stop shopping for all your merchant services solutions. Our clients save money 100% of the time. Trust Tanker Consulting Services, the knowledgeable, professional, and friendly provider of secure payment services. We set the standard by which others are measured. Call now for a free written analysis. 609-922-0201. If you haven't been to Speed Raceway, what are you waiting for? You want to live fast? You want to make every second count? Then grab the family. Round up the guys. Speed Raceway is 100,000 square feet of excitement, whether you're a kid or a kid at heart. Speed Raceway is the place for endless fun all summer long. Log on to SpeedRaceway.com or just get here now. Today's show is sponsored by Hargrove Demolition, your demolition experts. Hargrove is a family-owned and operated business right here in the southern New Jersey area, bringing you 45 years of demolition expertise. Hargrove has all your demolition needs, from emergency demolition service to demolition equipment rental. Hargrove is one of the state-approved recycling facilities right here in the southern New Jersey area. No job is too big or too small for Hargrove Demolition. Contact them today at one of their three locations. When I was injured, I couldn't play basketball for my entire sophomore year. After years of wear and tear, I knew something was seriously wrong with Deja's knee when the swelling wouldn't go down. Young athletes are still growing. They need specialized care only available here at Dayton Children's. I wanted the best care for Deja because I wanted her to return to the thing that she loves to do, and that's basketball. At Dayton Children's Sports Medicine, we're treating tomorrow's champions. Right care. Right now. Right here. Dayton Children's. Just right for kids. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Well, welcome back to Morning Clip. Yes. Hi, good morning, and welcome back to Morning Coffee. Which he needs no more coffee. I, what just happened there? I just started to talk, and like all these Nordzers came out. Donna, the rails, oh my gosh, we're falling off the rails here. Oh my goodness, but let, we will get it back, folks. Thank you for tuning into the Radio Vision Network. I'm really glad that you've joined us here on Morning Coffee. And with us this morning is Natalie Simmons and Donna Brocious, who is the owner of the Boardroom uh, Barbershop in Medford, New Jersey. So, Natalie... Um, we were kind of talking off the air. Donna does this super awesome thing for the yes. kids when they come in for their first haircut. Yes. 
tell them a little bit about what you do for the little guys coming in, uh, get their first haircut mm -hmm. and maybe a certificate or they a do. Of some type? Um, we cut hair from their first haircuts, which can start at nine months. If they're walking or yeah. they're, they can sit in their, their parents' lap. And uh, we give out from nine months up until their 90s. Right. So oh, the, the, the spread of, of, of age is beautiful. But we do offer for the first little guy that comes in uh, a certificates for the first couple snips of hair. We, we say that in a little box, in a locket box. So the, yeah, and like the they, first curl or yes, whatever. Yes, the first snip, no matter if it's a oh, curl or cool. straight. Yeah. That's we, really cool. We do. We, I wrap it in a beautiful, put it, we fill out a certificate, we wrap it in a beautiful gift bag, and that's my treat to the parents for that special momentous, it's like a great the momentum. for them. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I think that a lot of parents are always looking for ways to kind of milestone things and, and, and have remembrances and keepsakes, right. right? So what better than like an official looking certificate, it prop, is, right? It's right? Cool. Like, it's so cute. It's it so cool. It's very cute. Yeah. It is. And the parents just love it. And they come with zoom lens, you know, cameras, yeah. the grandparents yeah. come. I even had a beautiful story of a grandparent that had cut four generations of like hair. Like she's been doing it for the first haircut for, I think her great, great grandchildren. So she was too, I don't want to say this in her nineties, that she was too old to cut, but right. they wanted her to be there for the first snip. So I allowed her to use my scissors to take the first snip. Oh, nice. And oh, wow. she took the snip, we took, and then I right. took over the haircut. Right. And that, those, that family, and all the generations were there. The Thank great grandparent, the grand, the grandparent, the parents, and that is so awesome. Thing. It yeah, is. It's a great that is so cool. Where else can you do that, right? <laughs> yes. Like it's That's like coming great. into the boardroom is for is sophisticated as it can be. Um, it's fun, and it's like coming into my home. I want people to think they're coming into my home, and we have fun there. And but it is a service shop. We are doing wonderful things. For men and we want to keep doing each month i recreating my mind the growth pattern of the business okay uh, what we're going to be doing and i say we that's me in the boardroom right. what i'm going to be doing as the business owner each month and projections into next year of where i want to be so well, this is just going to grow from here i, I mean it's awesome though i mean the, the model that you've come up with is one that's a little bit unique but it's got a lot of uh it's got a lot of strength to it because unfortunately what's happened uh, for, for men and men's haircuts is, is that we've gotten pushed into this mode of, it's gotta be fast, it's gotta be 10 minutes or less, oh. it's gotta be $10 or less. I can't yeah. do it, right? I can't do it, I say, I say that all the time. It's like 10, 10, it. and 10, I, I need it to be 10 minutes or less, $10 or less, and uh, <laughs> I want 10 words or less from my stylist. <laughs> this is why my business is so successful. And I'll, I'll own that because it's successful because my people, the clients, are respectful of my time and their time. And I'm respectful of their time. I book on the half hour. I don't like to squeeze. If a man needs to be somewhere, he's going. He's not getting his hot towel that day because each man gets a beautiful neck shave with a straight razor shave, hot lather, really? hot towel. Mm -hmm. And for that moment in time, they're in the chair. And that's, they're not, it's a quite peaceful time if they want to talk which we do most of the time. Right. <laughs> um, uh, it's a great time for them, but if time isn't the issue, they get a half hour service and no one ever feels rushed unless they need to be. Right. Because men have very strict schedules and so do women also. Uh, and uh, I always say, if you're running late, don't worry, don't race, we'll fit you in. And we just kind of, it just works because everyone's respectful of each other's time be because it is an appointment shop Right. Mostly. Right. I opened it up by just walking. Yeah, it was different. I opened the door and yeah. said, here I am. Right. People came in. It grew. They knew I was the only barber at the time. And they started making appointments. Well, what so, happened was, let's, let's. But we still of, take walk-ins. Let's break down, let's break down the current here. What happened was, is that you started under this concept of being a walk-in. And then you had so many walk-ins. <laughs> right. You had to hire right. somebody. Right. They handle the walk-ins, right, right? right? And then it kind of shift the paradigm of the business to become a little bit more appointment-based, but still be able to service those walk-ins. Absolutely, walk -in, I just walk -in hired clients. someone yesterday for that. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. See, I knew so that. So you open, I opened the door after being out of the industry for many years, seeing the concept grow across the country. 
as a single mother, I knew I was going to be an entrepreneur again and that I wanted to do something that I knew, that I was passionate about, that I could grow. It could grow and grow and just like anything else, slow it up, slowly with a great solid foundation. And I had people question me, you know, why didn't you hire more barbers? Because the, my pay structure is very good and you just have to start it all slowly. Those right. girls get paid for sitting, you know, there and that, you know, that's a, it's a certain pay structure. Whether they're cutting or not. That's right. right. And that's different than a lot of right. places. Right. And it's a great solid foundation with great solid barbers. So within nine months, I hired my first barber and that was for Saturdays. And uh, now I've hired my second barber and looking for a third to handle all the new influx of business that's yeah. still walking that's in fantastic. organically. The business yeah. is growing organically. And that's a beautiful thing. And the men love it because she's kind of made it like a spa atmosphere. Right. For men. For dudes. Really, yes. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, that's for, really and cool. And anybody. Because it's right. the boardroom bar. Yeah. Right. You know? No, I, I, yeah. I love it. And you're right on re, uh, reunion. You're right on Union Street. <laughs> we have a lot of reunions there, too. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a small world. Everyone does know one another. Well, I mean, Union and uh, Main Street. It's like right. it's like it's right the there at the, at the corner there. It's a great location. It's a beautiful location. Beautiful natural lighting all the way down. If I had to picture... What was set, sitting on my laptop for many years as a business plan, it was just really, it, it sounds like a cliche, but it was what I pictured. Beautiful natural hardwood floors, and historic building, yeah. very masculine, uh, natural lighting, and parking across the street. Okay. Free parking in a really beautiful nice town home. that's welcoming new business. They, yeah. are, they are embracing the new business. Yeah, Redford. Medford's hot. It is, it yeah. is hot. Like we have really great new breweries in town. We have the pop shop. I don't want to single anyone out. Right, There's of numerous course. stores yeah. that I love, uh, owned by men and women, yeah. and moms and dads, and grandfathers we're, and grandmoms. We're, we're up against another break, but real quick, Medford is doing a really cool thing because they're embracing the established businesses that have been there for a really long time, mm -hmm. but they're also attracting some of the really new, cool right. business right. people that, mm -hmm. that are coming into the town. It's really, it's a cool thing. I'm thinking like, all right, I should come get my hair cut now, pop over to Braddock's and grab a drink, right? Right. 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 Make, like a night, make like a night of it or something. Right. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it and I'll let you know, right? right? Because right. I could either make an appointment or just walk into the boardroom because it's the best barbershop right. in the area. It's right. perfect. So, all right, so here's what I got to do. I got to take another quick break. But we will be right back on Morning Coffee while I go hook up my mouth and my tongue and stuff. We're going to be able to talk. I, trust me, folks. We're going to be right back. This is I'm Natalie Simmons, up. and I am Mark Cook, and we'll be right back on Morning Coffee. Stick around. Today's show is sponsored by Hardgrove Demolition, your demolition experts. Hardgrove is a family-owned and operated business right here in the southern New Jersey area, bringing you 45 years of demolition expertise. Hardgrove has all your demolition needs, from emergency demolition service to demolition equipment rental. Hardgrove is one of the state-approved recycling facilities right here in the southern New Jersey area. No job is too big or too small for Hardgrove Demolition. Contact them today at one of their three locations. When I was injured, I couldn't play basketball for my entire sophomore year. After years of wear and tear, I knew something was seriously wrong with Deja's knee when the swelling wouldn't go down. Young athletes are still growing. They need specialized care only available here at Dayton Children's. I wanted the best care for Deja because I wanted her to return to the thing that she loves to do, and that's basketball. At Dayton Children's Sports Medicine, we're treating tomorrow's champions. Right care. Right now. Right here. Dayton Children's. Just right for kids. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. We are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Well, welcome back to Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network. I am Mark Cook. This is Natalie Simmons, and we are 
continuing our conversation with Donna Brocious, who is the owner of the Boardroom Barbershop right on Union Street in Medford, New Jersey. And it's a fantastic place. And you know what, uh, Donna, in the last segment, I was supposed to show some, some pictures, right? Mm -hmm. But I was just so into our conversation that I completely forgot. Mm -hmm. Let's do that now, That's right? Perfect. Because we have some Thank awesome you. pictures uh, mm -hmm. from, the, from the Boardroom Barbershop. So if we could put... Uh, the first one up there right now is the, that's the, uh, the, the front end. That's the front we end. call those in the business, the exteriors, yes. right? Is we're going to do an exterior shot. Yes. You need to, the 6 a.m. call time. No, 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 I'm just kidding. That was a, <laughs> that was my, that was another job I did a couple of weeks ago. But so no, this is the outside of, of the barbershop. Look yes. how it's like perfect, so cool. right? It's cute. Mm -hmm. You got a little bench out there to wait. Now we're on the inside. Uh, that is like a barber chair from the not so distant future. Right. It looks like you kind of, you hopped in your time machine, you went into the future, you bought some of these yeah. really cool barber chairs, and then you brought them back <laughs> I know. to 2016. What, what, look I mean, at that thing. How cool is that? I get a lot of that? compliments on those chairs. I, do. Yeah. I get a lot of compliments. I would imagine so, chairs. because it looks it looks really like modern and cool. Chair. Right. Yeah. I'm going to let you in real quick. My grandfather owned a barber shop in Camden for over 50 years. Oh, I had wonderful. his chair. Oh, that's that. beautiful. Don't tell anybody. That's a beautiful thing. Don't that's tell crazy. anybody. I have the chair. This chair is like 120 years old. It is, it is like the it's old easy. crank. Yeah. yeah. It's got the real ornate. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but, but this is not about me but or my grandfather or my grandfather's chair. Thing. But it's really cool. They, if you want to see it, I'll take a picture of it. They are works of art. They really oh, are. Yeah. yeah. So, so, Donna, this has been so awesome. And I, I really want to... Uh, uh, Oh, wait, I'm sorry. My producer's uh, telling me something here. We have some more. We have another another picture? Cool. Oh, yes. All right, let's go to that. See, look at that. I was about to start wrapping. I thought he was telling me to wrap things up. Okay, so now I'm in the I'm in the boardroom. You are in the boardroom. And this looks like the uh, the waiting area. It's it like is. Cool. It has a... Uh... I'm sorry? Pinball. Pinball! Yeah. Oh, I can't... Uh, you know what? I can't tell. It, it, it looks like a television. Right there on the corner. Yeah. That, uh, yes, it's our pinball machine. We've had many, many years, so the... It's a work, that is truly a work of art. It's not yeah. plugged in right now. We it's not we don't have it plugged in, but uh, the children just really. The atmosphere yeah. yeah. What what, what kind is it? I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. Believe see. it or not, it's called Taxi, and it has Marilyn Monroe on it, which is uh, they only made a hundred of those with Marilyn on it. Ooh. And there's a story behind that. You can look it up. Okay. It's called Taxi. Marilyn's on there, and it's it's uh, it, it was a franchising, uh, licensing cool. type of a situation. And, but there's a lot of history on that particular pinball machine. Yeah, so what do but you, it adds a little character to the boardroom. What are you thinking? Does it need like a little restoration or something? It does. I just had someone in to look at it the other did day. Did you? Yes. Alright, because I was going to yeah. say we might be able, we might be able to pick something out The kids did use here. it for many years though. It, yeah. played, it played many years in the basement. So yeah? You, you're our, banging that thing back and forth or yes, what? Alright, alright. Alright, all right, so here we are. Now we're back in the yeah. shop and we are looking at... That to me is what makes the boardroom a little unique because it brings back a little bit of everything from every generation, from an Emerson radio to an RCA a record player to inspirational books on family and dreams. I oh, believe in that's dreams. Cool. And, and uh, it's, it's a little bit for every generation. The 50s are represented there with a the jukebox. And uh, there's just a little bit that anyone walking up, and I have people that come in to the boardroom that actually bring in the me. It's in the waiting area. It's in the waiting area. But yeah. I wanted each generation that would come into right. my, my boardroom, they can look at it and see a little bit from every era of, of time. Yeah. So and I, it gives you that like, little, bit little bit of nostalgia, yeah, a little so, bit of yeah, character. Yeah, yes. This and is now so cool. Even, um, you now have a new product line, too. That's I do. We wanted to talk about, right? A I do. Product line. Yes. Yes. And I was always, from being in the, the cosmetic industry and being right. a model, we had to, over the years, uh, use different products and promote products. And I truly believe in my heart, I will not use a, a, a product myself unless, and, and sell it in my shop unless I use oh, it myself. Even and even I have friends right now that are using shaving products on their legs and skin and female and male friends uh, to make sure the product is, is good and everyone likes it. Uh, so I do have products right now for, uh, I'm going more organic and more natural. Um, so products that I've brought in from other manufacturers, I believe in for hair, skin, shaving. We do facial shaves. We do facials. Which the beards are really in. Right beard now trimming. Right? Absolutely, yeah. Natalie. Yeah, the, beards are, are mm -hmm. the beard trimming is really an art into it, onto itself. So, I'm sorry, Diane. we got to talk about this. So yes, we're so talking about a product line. What, what type of products? Are we talking about like 
hair creams and sprays and gels and stuff like that or is it more like the paste and like the the just the, the structuring pieces and stuff or like, tell me let you tell me it's so you exciting that I, I almost could jump out of my chair yeah, <laughs> because okay. the ultimate goal was that would be the, the ultimate phase to have a product line huge product line from hair to skin to beard oils mm -hmm. to shaving products all from the boardroom in the boardroom name uh, we are starting right now small out small with beard oil which is huge that you could put on your tattoos you could put on your oh. beards beards are an entity all to themselves oh, yeah. grooming beards exfoliating skin underneath the beards mm -hmm. You can go and Google beards and have a whole day of learning about how to take care of a beard. Mm -hmm. Whether it's scruff all the way down to three yeah. buttons down. Right. Right. Um, that's how we measure them these days, by buttons on their shirt buttons. So. <laughs> um, but true. my product line right now is from a woman who's in Medford. She makes my product for me. Um, she's a wonderful, it's called Clean Bean uh, Soaps. And sh the product line is... Uh, exclusive to the boardroom with its own scent. Okay. So that scent will be exclusive to the boardroom. And it's a beard oil which can be used for pre-shaving or your beard or on tattoos. Okay. Keep them soft and mm -hmm. supple. And, and it's also, all natural, you said? It's essential all natural oils? essential oils. That's Very amazing. musky, yeah. but not heavy. I love men that smell like soap, mm -hmm. but like just very natural scents. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also a, a body soap and a facial soap. And the third product is a shaving puck to be used with a brush, okay. a badger brush, and a cup, um, whether it's tin or... Right. And, and that's to shave. That's awesome. So, so you, there's three products right now. So you're, you're moving up. You're, you, yes. You're, you're, <laughs> yes. You've started the skin and you're, you're going up in yes. the air. No. But this is amazing. I mean, because, look, you are a, a risk taker. You are an entrepreneur. And all these things fit together really nicely under this boardroom label, this boardroom barber shop. You've got the nice big umbrella there and all of these things can kind of fall very nicely underneath it. And we know that the shop is obviously the most important thing. That's going to drive everything. Yes, I call it my fourth child. <laughs> it definitely is. And if I'm as passionate about it as I am my children, my three sons, it's going to be a huge success. Yeah. And uh, it's just, it's an amazing, it's an amazing dream that has been realized. But what I love about it, it's just like people like Natalie that I have known for years, their, their support. People that have supported me from afar yeah. uh, that are just amazing. Well, people really do make she's people so better. Inspiring, I think, for women in business. What she's doing Absolutely. Well, this is this is why I love doing what I do because yeah. then I get to learn about the story and I get right. to get excited about it. And yes. then hopefully, you guys get excited about it out there. That's why that's why we're doing it here. So I mean, yeah, it's such a, such a cool thing. It really is. Um, about your website and everything, so people can look up. Uh, Yes, I am on Google. If you need to find me, I'm on Google. I am on, um, I have my own website. It's www.theboardroombarbershop.com. I have, my phone number is 609-297-0227. Always leave a message. Uh, sometimes uh, if I'm with a young child, I don't pick up the phone right away, so always leave a message. I get back to everyone right away. But most of the time, I am there answering the phone. I make my own appointments right now. And... Uh, down the road, I probably will then have a receptionist. But um, you can find me on, like I said, Google, my website, any information, always reach out to all me. On social media. All Instagram, Twitter. Yes. I <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. I tweet. tweet That's right. <laughs> I tweet on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter was that debunked uh, electronic um, store. You can tell it's my generation, but I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm learning. Um, I, I'm learning by default, which no. is beautiful. That's great, though, it because is. you Social are on media Facebook. Social is a wonderful thing. Yeah, you're on Facebook. You're on Instagram. You're yes. on Twitter. A Twitter. You're I tweet on, on Twitter. <laughs> you know what? You covered, you, you've covered all this, the, the information. I was going to have you look in, into uh, camera one, but we kind of just did that without even really your knowledge so now what I'd like to do is just invite everybody down to the to the boardroom barbershop just a nice hey just come on down just a nice just right there camera one whatever you'd like to tell them I would like to welcome anyone to come and everyone to come in and see us at the boardroom come and say hello have a cup of coffee we always have refreshments and really it is like coming to home so come in bring your children 
and bring your friends and, uh, and, and, and I listen. We all listen. We're, we're taught to listen. And the client is always number one. And uh, it's just a great, comfortable feeling. But you leave feeling just as good. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And I always say anything you want to change, uh, any questions, never feel funny. Um, that's what I'm there for. I am there to make you the best you could be. Really best truthfully. version of you you can so welcome, be. Look at well, that. Yes, come and see us. We have a good time there. We truly do. That's exciting. And, and you know, I think that the bottom line is we've got all of that great stuff going on. But the most important thing is that so you're going to get a great haircut. Absolutely. Awesome haircuts. That's, that's the it. most important Just a, that's thing. That's the bottom line, We right? do them all day long from fades to anything you need. Black tops, fades, shaving. Shaving, big straight razor shaving on the face. Uh, we do. And You'll find a lot I, of the I've never had that done. I'm dying. I'd love that. It is done. such a treat. Yeah. It is really, truly a treat. Yeah, it this is. has been so cool. Uh, her name is Donna Brocious. She's Thank the so owner much. of the Boardroom Barbershop on Union Street in Medford, New Jersey. You are quite welcome, Donna. We're glad my you pleasure, joined us. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Natalie That's Simmons, so thank you for joining me this morning. This has you been fun. Thank you for having me again. You're quite yeah. welcome. Hopefully uh, you can join us again soon. And stick around. Uh, actually, folks, I, I, you know what? I'm breaking. I'm breaking. This is what I'm doing. I'm not sure if I'm coming back or not, but here's what's happening. I want to thank you for tuning in. we got to take a quick break. We'll be right back here on Morning Coffee on the Radio Vision Network. Stick around.